Hi everybody. Today in class we looked at replacing numbers with letters and we discovered the commutative property of addition. Um, so example number one, we're going to come up with what that looks like. The commutative property of addition says that the sum stays the same when the order of the addends is changed. So let's take a look at a number. I could say 5 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 5. So the order of the addends changed, but the sum is still equal. I can change that and just use variables. So a plus b would be equal to b plus a. Whatever value of a I put in, if I keep the same value in this equation and a different value for b, no matter what, those are going to be equivalent. So order does not matter when you're adding numbers. That's the commutative property of addition. Now let's take a look at the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property of multiplication states that the product, that's the answer to a multiplication problem, stays the same when the order of the, of the factors is changed. So a times b equals b times a, where a and b are any real numbers. So let's take a look at that with actual digits. So if I had, say, 4 times 7, that would be equal to 7 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 7 times 4 is 28. It's equivalent. So again, I can use variables to say that would mean that a times b would be b equal to b times a. No matter what I would substitute in there, that would be equivalent. So it comes down to that order does not matter when I'm multiplying. Now we have number three talks about the additive property of zero. So the additive property of zero says if I add zero to a number, I, that gives me a sum that's identical to the given number. So if I take any number, I will take 13 plus zero, I'm going to get an answer of 13. So I can use any letter I want. So let's use the letter C. C plus zero still gives me C. So any number plus zero, anything that you can think of to insert for the variable C, you will always get that number that you started with. So any number added to zero equals itself. That is the additive property of zero. Finally, if we have the multiplication, I, multiplicative identity property of one. So the definition of that is multiplying a factor by one gives a product identical to the given factor. So again, what does that look like? Uh, let's take 10. 10 times one equals 10. So the factor I started with 10 when I multiply it by itself, I get that the, my product is exactly the same as the number I began with. So I can use that again with variables. I can use the C again. I can use D if I want. I can use whatever variable times 1 is going to give me that same number I start with. So 72 times 1 is 72. So when I take a look at what that means then, is that any number multiplied by one equals itself. So there's a few different properties. We looked at the commutative property of addition and, and multiplication. We looked at the additive property of zero and the multiplicative property of one. So I hope this helps in your practice make a difference.